Hello people, so uh, just a very quick video now on taking grapevine cuttings and setting out a melon plant. So some rather interesting stuff. Okay, so what we're going to do is start with the grapevine cuttings. Now, I'm not going to be taking a cutting from this particular grapevine because I want to let it get a bit bigger and I want it to mature. But um, basically, I'm just going to show you on this and then show you some cuttings that I've taken from another plant or indeed another two plants. So, okay, now this grape here, I've grown this myself from a cutting and the cutting originally, the original cutting is down there. So there you go, you can see it's actually filled out to quite a decent size. It's probably about four years old, something like that. So the way that you take a cutting, now you do this during the dormant season, okay? So that's normally between sort of late November up until about now. Ideally, I would say do it sort of January time, but um, you know, anything sort of within those parameters you can generally get away with, at least here in the UK. So what you need to do is find a piece of last year's growth. So if you have a look here, this is last year's growth. You can tell because it looks fresh, looks kind of spindly generally. And what you do, I'm just trying to get out the shadow here, is you look for four buds, okay? So you see one, two, three, four there, okay? And then you simply get your sharp secateurs and cut it below the fourth bud, okay? So then you end up with what would be known as a scion and you take that with you. So say that again, a piece of last year's growth which generally looks a bit sort of thin and whippy and um, fresh looking and you're looking for four buds. So one, two, three, four. You get the idea, I think. Okay, so basically I'll show you what I've got here. In these plastic bags, I went to where two of my old vines are still situated, varieties Lake Mont Seedless and Muscat Blot, and I took some cuttings. So let me have a look. I've emptied the bag already. Oh yes, here we go. Now, down here, and I'll show you the approach, right? So these are the cuttings, and we'll take a nice fresh looking one so here you go now this is as i stated earlier on last year's growth so you see it so you've got one bud at the bottom there just there another one here one here and one here now it's very important this bit okay you might not think so but it is and you need to make sure that you put it in the right way up so if you look at this vine here this is one I've got growing in the polytunnel here. This is Autumn Royal. And what you do, so you see the direction that the buds are growing. Now this is further advanced because it's in the polytunnel, but the idea is the same. See it? That gives you the idea there. And what you do is you just get your two bottom buds. See there, look? And you simply proceed to put two in. One, two like that and you leave your two other ones above. Now the general idea is that the two below the soil or compost or whatever will proceed to root and the buds above will then leaf out and then grow on. So I've got one there and another one here, two, you get the idea, two buds. And I'm just gonna do a bit of an experiment, a bit of a thicker bit here. This may or may not be last year's growth, but I just got to make sure you get it the right way up. Hard to tell with uh, these thicker bits. Let's have a look at this one here. I can work out a lot easier from here. Here you go. There you go. So, different shape here, but one bud here and one bud here. And then I'm going to proceed to just simply place that in like that. Now, this is a great way to propagate. The varieties will be true to type, meaning, you know, what you, <clears throat> excuse me, when this is one day a mature vine, it will produce the fruit that, uh, you know, the cutting was from the grape of. So that's very, very good indeed. Now, when I take grapevine cuttings, I like to do them into pots because then I can move them at a later date if I decide where I want to put them or whatever, or if I want to do swapsies with someone or, or whatever. But you can just get that scion if you wish and, you know, boink, plop it in the, 
in the soil somewhere, you know, and hope for the best in the open garden. So you can do that as well. But this is a great way of propagating. Yeah, you're going to wait for your vines, but if you remember that vine I just showed you earlier on, I, you know, that's going to probably produce this year. And, uh, you know, I've generated that for free. So it's very much worthwhile if you're going to, you know, propagate there. I've got some more to do. So the variety I've got here, this is Muscat Bloch, and that's a seeded, like, black sort of purple grape, and a lovely variety. Just go through my grapevine list, you know, my grape playlist, if you want to see a lot about grapevines, because I've had a, over the years I've owned a lot of vines at previous addresses, and, you know, I speak very highly of uh, growing grapes in the UK. So anyway, you get the idea, I cut these earlier, so growing the right way up, so remember, have a look, give it get your idea right don't put it in upside down because it won't work so two buds in the ground the compost and two buds above and let's get this one as well same here look might need to slightly here go and put this on this one might need a slightly deeper pot for this one yeah it's a bit longer so put that one in there what else have we got let's have a look another one here stick that in like that and this one here, where should I put it in here? There you go. So yeah, they're two first-class varieties I recommend highly. You know, if you check that playlist, as I said, you'll see, you know, how heavy cropping those varieties can be. So they're very much worth doing. Um, I'm thinking about maybe taking a cutting from this um, Autumn Royal Vine. It's all interesting stuff. But so when you do these cuttings, I'm... Uh, Generally not the best idea to leave them in a polytunnel. You want to put them outside really, certainly when it gets warmer because um, you know, they dry out quick. You need to keep the compost or the soil that they're in moist, okay, otherwise they won't take. And if they do take, if you don't water them, unsurprisingly they won't survive. So you need to make sure you keep them moist, plenty of water, you know, keep them, just keep them going. And uh, you know, what you'll end up with is something like this, I'll show you. Right, this is one I took last year. This is Muscat Blah, okay, from that vine that the Muscat Blahs come from. So you can see there, look, that survived. You just pull it like that. I can feel the roots have taken. Might even do a video where I take it out and pot it. But you can see there, look, it's starting to bud out now. So that uh, is indeed surviving, or has survived. Same indeed with this one, look, if I pull that. There you go, I can lift the pot up with it. You can see how that's taken. And uh, this vine here, I took this from a cutting as well. This is either Lake Mont Seedless or Muscat Blah. I'll find out when it uh, fruits may even be this year. So I'm growing this in a pot up against this self facing wall. So look at that look. You can see that's done really well. So it's very much worth, you know, about learning how to take grapevine cuttings because you can end up with mature vines eventually and you can save money as well and propagate varieties and, um, you know, in a, in, in a way, take one plant from address to address with you if you move with regards to, um, you know, taking cuttings and propagation. So, you know, nomadic grape growing, if you will. So, yeah, look very good. Okay, any questions on that, post them down below. Got to go, running out of memory. Please feel free to like, share and subscribe if you like my work. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.